going to be showing you how to create this deer makeup. I was trying to not go for the deer makeup and I wanted to create some other wild animal because I had done a deer makeup a while back, I think. And I think I posted it to YouTube and shared a video with you guys, but I'm not sure. If I did, I will link the video somewhere around this video on it, down below, you'll see it. But I remember creating one and I didn't really like it and you know what? I'm back and I'm creating a better one. So I really love the way this look came out and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Today's video is in collaboration with another Ipsy OS member. Her name is Brianna. She is also going to be creating something for you guys that is part of the wildlife family. So if you would like to get her look or my look, click her link down below or keep watching this video. All right guys, so we're gonna jump into this video. I'm using my Pony Effects Radiance Glow Hydrating Starter as my primer, putting this all over my entire face. Keep in mind before we really jump into this video that this entire video is all contouring and highlighting. So I really hope that you guys like that because it's literally all it is. I applied my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation all over my face. For all the colors and lists of products, please visit my description bar down below. I highlighted my face with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Natural. Um, you'll see in just like a second how crazy I went with the highlight. And uh, three, dose, two, three, no? Okay, I guess I'm not going to show you, but um, basically I then went into my Ofra contour and the highlighting palette, and I took the lightest color and I went ham on the lightest color and I put that all over the center of my face and then I contoured my face or cream contoured my face with this same palette. So I'm just gonna go in and out of this palette back into contouring and highlighting um, back and forth until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. I went a little crazy on the contour. I wanted it to almost contour my face into a circle like the cheeks of a deer or an animal and then I contoured around my face as well. And then I'll go back and forth and blend it out with a beauty blender so that it all transitions very well together. And guys, if you see me with my phone in any parts of this video, I actually did film this on The Best Beauties Snapchat. That is at The Best Beauties on Snapchat. So go follow that for constant tutorials and all that fun stuff. Um, I also do tutorials on my Instagram and my own personal Snapchat. All of those are going to be in the description below too. So once I'm done highlighting and contouring, I went on to a translucent powder and I baked the crap out of my face. Like I baked like crazy. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. As you could see, as you could see, I was putting so much powder on. Oh my God. I was like coughing up a storm. There was so much powder on my face, but I put that powder in all the highlight areas that I created, and then I went on to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I used the darkest brown color. This is in the medium or light to medium kit, and I used the darkest um, color that there is to just contour my face. And then I wanted there to be a little bit more of a um, good transition of this bronzer, so I went into my My Couture papers and I used this bronzer right here. These are so cool, guys. Coolest thing I've ever seen in the world. And Mai, the owner of My Couture, is such an amazing, beautiful person. So definitely check those out. I went onto the nose, and as you could see, I overly contoured my nose and then almost created like a little nose out of contour I guess you could say. Um, this was kind of to start the nose later on which you'll see I'll do in black. I then took my Diamond Glow Highlighter in Conceited and oh my god look how beautiful this is. It's so beautiful. I put this in all the highlight areas of my face. I put it above my brow on the top of my cheeks, on my brow bone, in the middle of my eyes, and then I actually went back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and took the highlighter in there to the rest of my face. I didn't want it to be as glowy as the Diamond Glow powder. I then took a black shadow on my nose and started shaping out the nose. I also contoured a little bit in the inner corners of my eyes for shadow. And then, once I did that, guys, I kind of didn't like the way the nose was going. I felt like I looked like a dog, so I just kind of made the nose a little more heart-shaped. And then I took an eyeliner from Johair and I just created the nose a little bit, the nose mouth piece. 
I don't, guys, what is this called? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so then I outlined the top of my lip too. So then I filled in my top lip with a NYX lip liner in Blackberry, and I kind of blended it a little bit into the inner part of my lips too. For brows, I use my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is the old one. They have a new one that came out, and I just brushed my brows up, and this is in the color Light. I, I don't know. I like the way this color looks. Then for the eyes, I kind of wanted to make the eyes a little bit bigger and almost kind of doll-like, so I created a larger... Um, waterline on my eye. So I'm just taking a brown shadow or a brown bronzer to that and then blending it out a little bit. And then I use some white paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette inside that new waterline that I created. And then I'm going to go back in just a second to perfect it with a very small brush. Once I'm done with my little waterline that I created right here, I'm going to add some lashes. Yay! <laughs> so I already put on my lashes on the top. These are the Ardzell Wispy Lashes. And then I took these little single lashes, but they're actually like triple lashes. They have three in one. I have no idea where these are from, but I'm sure you can find them at Sally's or Ulta. And I just put those on the outer corner on the bottom. And then I took some black eyeliner just to accentuate and fix that waterline. And now it's on to the best part, which is the spots. I wanted to go for more of like a fawn type of deer. So I just used some white paint um, from Snazaroo to create this, these dots all over my face. I went a little crazy on the dots, as you could see. Um, but I wanted to really create these in like a really special or like cute way because all the pictures that I've seen of deers, I don't know, I just don't like the spots that they chose. So I went with more of a smaller thing. I just used the back of any makeup brush to create them. And then finally, once I'm done with the spots, I did put a couple on my chest and on my neck as you can see. And then I took a little bit of a white shadow from a Morphe palette and just kind of accentuated the cheeks a little bit. You can also add, add little whiskers if you want to, but I don't really know if deers have whiskers. Is anybody an animal expert? <laughs> but this is the final look, guys. I really hope you enjoy it, and if you try it out, don't forget to tag me. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I truly hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me so that you don't miss out on any of the 31 videos I am putting up this month. If you guys try out this look, don't forget to tag me or hashtag Julia Salvia or Beauty by Julia so that I can see it. But other than that, I think that's all I have to say today. Tonight, today, today. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> okay, I'm really hungry now.